Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video, well, let's talk about the Atomstack P7 Laser Engraver. Now, this is just a normal laser engraver like many others that I reviewed, is it? Well, no it isn't. It's a 4.5 to 5.5 output power laser engraver that is more powerful than all the other laser engravers that I ever reviewed on my channel. So, if you want to know why, well, please stay tuned to this video. Now, the Atomstack P7 is a laser with a build size of 200 by 200 millimeters. It's made of durable uh, uh, sheet metal and uh, it's very sturdy. It's really, they build it like a tank. Uh, this means that there are no acrylic parts like uh, many other lasers have that you can break when you bump into the laser or things like that. No, this is really a sturdy frame. Um, also, putting together this frame, it's incredibly easy, better than any laser to date that I have been reviewing. Because building this frame means putting things together, then uh, putting them on special plastic parts that they give you. And with this plastic parts, you make sure that everything is pre-leveled. So you don't have to level the machine after, you, after you're done building. Uh, and well, everything just works immediately, right out of the box. Also, bringing this laser to your software, and for example, uh, I use uh, Lightburn software. Uh, you just have to go in your software and say, find my laser, and then this laser will uh, provide all the details needed via its USB connection. So you only have to click on OK and this laser is, is brought into your software. Now this is the assembly and taking it uh, ready for working, but there is more than that. When I was reading about this laser, uh, I found out that this has a very, very small curve. And if you want to know what a curve is, well, in this video up here I explain what problems you can have with a curve, but you don't have to watch it because this laser doesn't have those problems. Normally when I review lasers on my website uh, in the last year, then uh, those lasers had a, a curve or a spot size of 0 0.08 by 0 0.08 millimeters. And this is incredibly good compared to the older lasers, uh, more than a year old, uh, which had a much bigger curve. Now, this laser is the first one I ever reviewed that has a curve of only 0 0.02 by 0 0.02 millimeters, making it incredibly tiny. And this means that this laser uh, puts a lot of energy on a very, very tiny spot, meaning it can cut deeper and faster. Now, when I read this, I immediately thought, well, let's try out. And I loaded some plywood, 9 mm thick, under my laser, and I started a cutting job. And, well, I cut the plywood in only one pass uh, at 200 mm per minute. I never was able to cut plywood in one pass with any of the other lasers that I reviewed on my channel up to now. So, well, this is really mind-blowing. Then I started engraving things and, uh, well, all the engravings, they work fine. Uh, they work just like any other laser that you use for engraving. Well, I have to say that if you want to make photorealistic photos in wood or that kind of things, I would go for a laser with less power than this one. But you can do it for sure and you can make really nice photos with this machine. Then I started cutting acrylic, and <laughs> boy oh boy. Um, the separation between the openings in some parts is only 0.01 millimeter, working on three millimeters thick acrylic. This means that this laser is capable of doing very high detailed cuts. I've never been able to do that with, uh, well, with a diode laser. When uh, I want to do things like this, I always go to CO2 lasers. But this laser is just a diode laser and it's, it's capable of making this high detail cuts 
doing it in one pass and doing it incredibly good. Now, of course, I also did some cuts on wood, uh, all kinds of wood, and it just works perfectly, way better than on all the lasers I've ever tested. This, by the way, will be a separate project for a separate video. Now, this frame is very good. It's sturdy and, uh, well, it's very secure. So uh, if you bump into it, well, nothing will happen with the frame. You won't break any acrylic parts. It's just steady and sturdy. Also, there are a lot of safety features in this machine. Because it's that sturdy, well, you won't break it. The second thing is that if you bump into it, the machine will stop because its sensors will detect that there is a bump and then it will stop the machine from working and in your software you will have to reset the laser before you can start it again. So yeah, you, you won't have any accidents with it. Then the laser itself, well it has a glass uh, few uh, fenster, uh, I think you call it a fenster in, in English. Uh, but there is a possibility to, yeah, to see the laser. And uh, this is a special, uh, yeah, uh, special type of glass, which makes sure that only 2% uh, of all the ultraviolet light that is provided by the laser will come through the glass. So 98% of all this light is being blocked. A lot of people say that with this laser you don't have to wear protective goggles. I would say always use protective goggles. It's just, yeah, you have one pair of eyes and you don't want to damage them, so always use them. But the fact is that the chances of having a, a mistake with this laser that can burn your eyes or other things in your house are very, very minimal. Now, would I recommend this laser to people who are uh, well, willing uh, to buy a laser that, have a, that has a very good uh, power of cutting. Well, if you can work with only 200 by 200 millimeters, yeah, of course. But if this is a too small uh, build area, then I would recommend another laser. And Atomstack has uh, another laser, I will link it in the description down below that has a bigger work size uh, than this one. Yeah, the possibilities with that machine are the same while having a bigger size of engraving area or cutting area. Now, all this put together. This laser is incredible for its cutting power. It's very fast, it's very reliable, it was very easy to build together. Therefore, I would recommend this laser above many of the other lasers that I've reviewed on my channel, unless you want to have things like, uh, for example, uh, a machine that can work without a computer, or for example, a machine that has a big stop button uh, or panic button that you can stop immediately, or a machine that has less power and therefore can make better engravings. So there are a lot of things to think about when you are buying a laser, but if you want cutting power, speed, detail, etc., well, then this is the very best laser that I have reviewed so far on my channel. That said, uh, well, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, please put them in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and also make sure to hit that notification bell because otherwise you won't be notified every time I make a new video. And uh, well, this is it for this video. You will see a lot of this laser uh, in later videos because I'm sure I will use this laser for many projects as it's, well, it's just one of the best lasers at the moment that I have in my shop. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.